Catalysts to say what has never been said, to see what has never been seen, to draw, paint, sing, sculpt, dance, and act what has never before been done, to push the envelope of creativity and language. And what's really important is, I call it the felt presence of direct experience, which is a fancy term which just simply means we have to stop consuming our culture. We have to create culture. Don't watch TV. Don't read magazines. Don't even listen to NPR. Create your own road show. The nexus of space and time where you are now is the most immediate sector of your universe. And if you're worrying about Michael Jackson or Bill Clinton or somebody else, then you are disempowered. You're giving it all away to icons. Icons which are maintained by an electronic media so that you want to dress like X or have lips like Y or something. This is shit-brained, this kind of thinking. That is all cultural diversion. And what is real is you and your friends and your associations, your highs, your orgasms, your hopes, your plans, your fears. And we're told, no, we're unimportant, we're peripheral, get a degree, get a job, get a this, get a that, and then you're a player. You don't even want to play in that game. You want to reclaim your mind and get it out of the hands of the cultural engineers who want to turn you into a half-baked moron consuming all this trash that's being manufactured out of the bones of a dying world. Where is that at?
Computer-generated imagery, most commonly known as CGI, has taken the world by storm. The Earth does appear fragile from space. Uh, it, of course, is uh, absolutely uh, spherical. Uh, Air-shaped. Spherical. Uh, Air-shaped. Spherical. Uh, Air-shaped. Spherical. Uh, Air-shaped. Uh, Air <laughs>